If you found this video, it's because you had the check coolant additive message light come on your Super Duty uh, diesel. So here's how we're going to test. Uh, first of all, you can go to the dealer. They'll do the test for you. Uh, if you're a do-it-yourselfer like me, you'd rather not go to the dealer. Right now, they're about two weeks out for anything. So anyway, um, I went ahead and got the uh, AccuStrip test and... Uh, the first thing, we're going to test two reservoirs here. We're going to test the uh, secondary, which is over here, and then the uh, main coolant reservoir over there. So first I'm going to do the secondary. Since it's harder to get to, uh, I'm going to show you how to get that um, syringe and tube back in there. It's a little bit tricky because there's a barrier on top in there. I don't know if you can see it there, but uh, you have to feed this tube over the top and down into the fluid. You can kind of see the fluid there, but it does open up over there. So you just kind of wiggle it around, put a light in there, and then you can kind of see when that tube is hitting into the, the fluid. So once you get that in contact with the fluid, you're just gonna fill up this syringe and take a sample. And then you're going to deposit the sample from your secondary reservoir into the sample container. There are two sets of strips, test strips here. We've got the reserve alkalinity strip and then the contamination strip. The first part of the test is using the reserve alkalinity strip. So we dip the reserve alkalinity strip into the sample for two seconds we remove it out and then tap off the excess wait 30 seconds and then we're going to um, compare it with this chart here to uh, see what matches up the best and there's a couple different or actually three different levels there's the um, two lows and then there's a high uh, and it looks like this one's gonna fall within the uh, low range. So we'll be using the orange cap vial, which is over here. It just has less fluid in it, less test fluid. These have more. All right, since we fell into the low range for reserve alkalinity, we're gonna use the orange cap vial, which I've opened up here, set aside, and you're going to fill the syringe with exactly five milliliters of the sample fluid, and then deposit it into the orange capped container. So we've got the sample in the uh, orange capped container with the solution. We're gonna shake it for 15 seconds. Now we're gonna do the contamination test. You're gonna need a contamination strip, which I've got here. We're going to dip it for two seconds, and then you're going to shake off the excess and let it sit and then match the color. Dip for two seconds, shake off the excess, and let it sit for 60 seconds. Our 60 seconds has passed, and you hold it up to the contamination test side of the guide card and ours is obviously passing. So we don't need to take any action to add additive to our uh, coolant on the secondary. The main reservoir is a lot easier to access and fill up your syringe with. That's what we're gonna do next, and it's the same procedure. While we're over here getting our sample for the uh, coolant test, I wanted to point out the EMP shield that I've got installed on the truck here. I've got a video uh, on the install and that EMP shield makes shields for vehicles, your house, and um, solar panels, other things. In the event of an EMP attack, it will shunt the incoming energy charge and protect your circuits. There'll be a link to that for uh, $50 off. And uh, let's get back to the test though. All right, so once again, we're gonna do the reserve alkalinity test first. Dip for two seconds. 
shake off the excess. Same results, low, we're gonna use the orange vial again. We have extracted five milliliters exactly into the syringe and we're going to deposit into the orange capped vial. Just remember that if you have high alkalinity, then you're going to use the clear capped vial for that test. There's a different amount of solution in there for the test. So we've deposited that and now we're going to shake it for seconds and then do a dip strip. Shake for 15 seconds. Contamination strip for two seconds. Shake off the excess. And wait 60 seconds to match on the contamination test card. Okay, 60 seconds went by and uh, we are still in a passing range, so no action required. If you did need to service the um, coolant with the uh, supplemental additive, um, I'll put a link to that on uh, Amazon in the description. And then um, there's guidance online about how much to use, depending on how much, you know, what your test results are. But uh, alternatively, you know, you could take your truck into the dealer and have them service it. Or, you know, I'm sure there's plenty out there that online to uh, tell you exactly what the formula is and what coolant to use. A lot of the trucks um, over the years have changed a little bit. And um, so you wanna figure out, you know, obviously the application for your year of vehicle. And so. so if you have the check coolant additive warning light on, I've already cleared mine, but I'm gonna show you how to clear yours. You go to settings and then vehicle. This is a 2015 F350 Platinum, by the way. Um, Go down to maintenance, coolant, and then just hold okay if coolant additive is checked. So on your steering wheel, press the okay button and hold it. There we go. And that resets the uh, timer again. It's 600 hours on this vehicle. So another 600 hours, it'll ping you again forth if i helped you out please subscribe and uh, like it if you do if you want to thanks for watching and uh, be sure to check out the uh, emp shield video for your super duty